that too much? Was the thumbnail too much? What is up everybody and welcome to Life by the Book where we're taking life one book at a time or in this month's case five books at a time. I really hope the book drop and the thumbnail aren't too extra. I'm actually pretty sure, I'm actually 100% sure they are way too extra. When you're a small booktuber you can try stupid things. When you're a big YouTuber you don't get to make mistakes. So if this is a mistake let me know. Here we go. This month's TBR spooky season. We've got a little bit of everything. First of all, we have sort of a feels book and it is by Frederick Bachman and every morning the way home gets longer and longer. Let me just read you the synopsis. Grandpa and Noah are sitting on a bench in a square that keeps getting smaller every day. The square is strange but also familiar, full of the sweet scent of the flowers that Grandma loved to grow in her garden. As they wait together, they tell jokes and discuss their shared love of math. Grandpa recalls what it was like to fall in love with his wife and what it was like to lose her. She's as real to him now as the first day he met her, but he dreads the day when he won't remember her. This peculiar space that's growing dimmer and more confusing all the time is where they'll learn to say goodbye. The scent of flowers in the air. Nothing to fear. Frederick Bachman has rendered an exquisitely moving portrait of an elderly man struggling to hold on to his most precious memories and his family's efforts to care for him, even as they must find a way to let go. So that is, it's very short, that is my feels book for the month. Next up would be Nightmare by Chad Nicholas. This was sent to me so kindly by the author. Give him a follow on Instagram. Super nice guy. Chad, thank you for sending me this book. Looking forward to checking it out this month. Let me read you the synopsis on the back, and I promise you I'm not going to do this for every book, but for the ones that I don't know as much about, I will. It says, had it come back? No, it couldn't have. He had buried it for good, or at least that's what Scott told himself. But what if it had? Was that why the Scarecrow now watched him? But the more Scott tries to ignore it, the more the evidence begins to pile up. So do the bodies. Because sometimes the dead don't stay buried. Sometimes the monster survives. As the bodies mount and the secrets of his past grow more haunting, Scott must do whatever it takes to save his family. But what if by doing so they find out what happened all those years ago? What if they realize what he did? Scott learns that there's no escape from his own past or the crows that have crawled out of it. He can only watch as his life turns into a living nightmare. I'm looking forward to being tripped out by this. The cover is dope. I'm super excited about this one. And the third book, as you know, I serve as a worship pastor, as I've said in previous videos. And if you aren't familiar with the church world, basically what that means is I lead the music at the churches, but I also have a pastoral role. I serve the congregation, I, I visit them in the hospital, so on and so forth. But my primary role is to lead worship and lead music on Sundays during services. But the book that I'm reading is A Guide to Worship Ministry. And I'm about halfway through this. As you can probably see, I have had my way with this book. We are actually in the process of a move. We will be moving in two weeks. The Lord has called us to another church in the Nashville area. So we're super pumped with this new start at a new church. I am wanting to refresh A Guide to Worship Ministry. Basically, this is a practical look at what it means to do worship ministry. And the fourth book is Between the World and Me by, I'm not going to pronounce that name, Toni Morrison says, this is required reading. It says, Americans have built an empire on the idea of race, a falsehood that damages us all but falls most heavily on the bodies of black women and men. Bodies exploited through slavery and segregation and today threatened, locked up, and murdered out of all proportion. What is it like to inhabit a black body and find a way to live within it? And how can we honestly reckon with this fraught history and free ourselves from its burdens? This one is probably going to be another extremely moving book. It says it's a National Book Award winner. I definitely need to check it out. It's on the bestseller list everywhere. Let me just say, if you are African American, you are not inferior. God created you with a plan, with a purpose. He created you in His image and you are perfect in his sight. He loves you. He gave his son Jesus to die for you. And you're not inferior. 
you're just as good as anybody else. And the last book, this is the big spooky spook of, spooky spook, this is the big scary, <laughs> Alex, you're an idiot. This is the big scary book of the month and I'm super excited for Home Before Dark, Riley Sager. Let me know if you've read this one in the comments. I gotta know what you thought of this one. There are ghosts, there are bells that ring themselves. There's record players that turn on and play music to empty rooms. Ghosts that climb out of wardrobes. Chronicles of Narnia. Ghosts that climb out of wardrobes. I'm having too much fun. Our main character, Maggie, has inherited this estate from her parents that apparently was haunted years ago. Her father writes a memoir about that experience, if I understand correctly, and she basically doesn't believe it. So she visits the place only to find out we all know what, but things moving in movies, things moving when they're not supposed to, stuff happening when it's not supposed to, that is my biggest scare in a movie is just when trippy stuff happens when it's not supposed to. So this book, I'm looking forward to getting spooked. Let's go. That's going to do it for my October TBR. Wait, before you go, I know. I see you right there. You want to click off of this video. Please don't do it because I want to thank you for watching and I want to encourage you. Please, if you will, share this video with one person. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. I would be super stoked if that happens. Thank you all so much for your continued support. I love you and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.